These are the scenes that played out on GTA streets Thursday afternoon after a winter storm plowed into the region. No one wants to go out with this kind of weather, you know. My wish has been granted. I love this weather. On the highways, bumper to bumper traffic. I think the key thing for drivers to remember in this type of circumstance is really just to drive safe and stay slow. Make sure that you're driving according to these conditions. Heavy wet snow making some roads downright treacherous. Really important thing is to have a fully stocked emergency kit. One you should be keeping with you all year round. In the summer you might have different things than in the winter. In the winter you want things like a blanket, an extra pair of mitts, a toque, even those hot packs. Because you never know how long you may wind up outside for. Caitlin First also recommends keeping extra food like protein or granola bars and water on hand. So we have approximately 1300 pieces of equipment. For the roads and sidewalks and here at the Murray Yard in the north end of the city, some of that is on display. What we have new this year is what we have combination units and we have approximately probably six to seven hundred where the equipment does both salting and plowing concurrently because it has both the blade and the salt spinner on the back. Vincent Sferazza says crews were out ahead of the storm, applying a liquid salt brine to expressways like the DVP and Gardner, along with priority sites like bridges, steep hills and major intersections to keep frost and ice from bonding to pavement. If they see our equipment, if they see our crews, please don't try to pass them, keep the distance. And also, if you take public transit, we highly recommend that you do that as well. Now, using public transportation is often a piece of advice that's given out by officials in the event of inclement weather. However, the TTC was impacted by the storm earlier on in the day, so it is always a good idea to check your route to ensure that it is indeed the best way for you to get around. Reporting from the Downsview neighborhood, Shalima Maharaj, Global News.